Hey everyone, my name's Silver, welcome back to the channel, and today guys, I got a brand new video for you. No, it's not Fortnite, I'm working on that right now, but today guys, for all my Vanguard viewers, if you clicked on this video, that means you like Vanguard, or hopefully you like Vanguard. Besides the point, today guys, we finally got Blaster Blade's new skill. That's right, they finally dropped the long-awaited news leak that all Vanguard news recipients are waiting for. And, honestly, I like it. But we're going to go over the first Blaster Blade skill and talk about him and how he affected the game in early stages, besides being a main card or main unit to the series. And then we'll talk about the new Blaster Blade and how I think he's going to change a lot of Blaster-themed decks. All right. So original Blaster Blade had an auto counter blast too. When this is placed on Vanguard, you may pay the cost. If you do, choose one of your opponent's rear guards and retire it. Pretty nice skill overall. It allowed you to retire anything on the field. And yeah, retire any rear guard you wanted. That was pretty nice. It also had an auto counter blast too. When this is placed on rear, if you have a Royal Paladin Vanguard, you may pay the cost. If you do, choose one of your opponent's grade two or greater rear guards and retire it. This skill was a bit more restricting, but it was helpful to a degree. It allowed us to retire things that were in the front row for a rear guard. So this card was semi-important. I feel like it ate up a lot of resources in the early days when there wasn't a lot of resource recovery. But it was a good card. It had a theme-centralized deck with a theme-centralized character. For a series that was just starting off, it was just a good card. Now we're going to talk about the new Blaster Blade, which nothing too much has changed besides power, and even he doesn't, ha he doesn't have that high of a shield. His shield's only 5k, which is pretty weird being that a lot of units were getting 10k shields, unless grade 2s were staying at 5k, and I'm just oblivious to the shields because I normally don't use them. Alrighty, new Blaster Blade skill. Continuous Vanguard, if you have 4 or more rear guards, this unit gets 1 critical. Which is pretty consistent with what we see in Paladin decks. Uh, Liberators were very specific on if you have three or more rear guards, this unit gets this skill. And it seems like they're drawing back to some of their original roots if you have more rear guards, which is sort of Kagero's thing as well as of late, is if you have more rear guards than your opponent, activate this skill. But that's not what we're really excited for. I mean, I'm excited for that because an extra critical at grade two. That's amazing. This is going to make Lou, Flogel, and Barkle decks maybe resurge. We might see a resurge of the Lou, Flogel in, in a premium format. But let's move on to its second skill, which, if you guys don't know yet, is Auto Vanguard, Rear Guard. When this, when this is placed, cost, Counter Blast 1, Soul Blast 1, choose one of your opponent's Rear Guards in the front row and retire it. So, this skill is significantly better than what the old one used to be, in my opinion. So, its old rearguard slash vanguard skill allowed you to retire either any unit on the field or a grade 2. It was very specific on how you had to do it and where, when you could do it. This one is when it's placed on van or rear, you can retire any unit in the front row, which will cripple a lot of formations. Um... The art style is nice. It's a callback to the original art style. Um, to a degree, I I have seen this Blaster Blade art style. I think it's a promo, maybe, that I've seen this art style before. There's just way too many, honestly, way too many art styles for me to go look. But I, I do remember seeing this type of art somewhere before on the new Blaster Blade. But um, I want to talk about how this is going to affect uh, Blaster decks. So this card immediately everyone knew was going to replace your old blaster blade in your in your in your um legend deck so if you guys don't know there's a pretty popular deck that cycles around every so often when you get support which is the uh blaster blade exceed deck it was the legend deck last year which we still don't know what we're getting for a legend deck this year i have a few ideas but so it was the legend deck it offered a bunch of unique powerful skills that target and central around blaster blade um, being that this was a 10k base, a lot of people were already going to throw it into their premium decks. But now that this card has been released and what it does, this card is going to really replace the premium format. Like, there were some people that were iffy on it, but let's take a look at what it does. It gets a critical on Vanguard, 
which normally you have Blaster Blade in hand. You search it out quite often. Um, what is it? And on Rearguard, it costs less, in all reality, to retire, so it makes its skill more effective. And a 10k base that restands with um, the Flogel critical, it's just too good. Honestly, this card is nice, and I can't wait to actually get my hands on it and play it and throw it into my XC deck. That's probably why I'm going to end up buying two or three of these trial decks, is so I can actually make a premium XC deck. <clears throat> um, yeah, overall, this card is just going to be really good for the deck. How this card will affect the anime? Well, it's definitely going to be a bit more unique, and I'm starting to... Oh, I'm not starting to realize I knew, but I'm coming to terms with that the anime is going to be significantly different than what a lot of people were probably expecting in the upcoming future because of how the cards are worded. But there's something else I wanted to point out. With these cards, we can sort of map out what other cards are going to be like in the future, which I have a theory video I'm going to do later, but I can kind of predict how... Perfect Razor might work and what its skills might be. I'm not going to guarantee or how see how Amaterasu and all those other main cards that we've yet to see in leaks are going to work just because they're, they're sticking to a formula and it's nice and I like it. And if you guys want to see that video, let me know because I have been working on it. But I think that's it for the news. I mean, there's other cards that I'll quickly go over like the Gigantic Crusher, which we got released, which is, again, similar. Uh, Vanguard Rear, when this, when it or your other Vanguard is placed, this unit gets 10k until end of turn. So this is a perfect Rearguard supporter. I don't think I'm going to use it in my Royal Paladin deck personally, just because, one, it comes down to being a common. Two, I don't know how often I'm going to be rewriting my Vanguard. But, um... Yeah, Gigantic Crusher is okay. And then you got uh, Cruelty Dragon, which is by far probably the best uh, Kagero Grey uh, double rare we've gotten for a grade 3. Hand, if you if your opponent's regard is retired you during, this, during your turn, this card can be normal called. If you have a grade 2 or less Vanguard, really powerful. Regard when this unit attacks a Vanguard, costs return, return a... Return this unit to your hand and Soul Charge 1. Um, just good. And then we got Nahalem, which I'm pretty sure a lot of people have already seen. But just in case I ha they haven't, I'll go over it one last time. Uh, when this is place cost, counter blast 1, choose one of your opponent's regards. Retire in the back row, retire it. This unit gets 5k until end of turn. This will combo really well with, the, uh, with Cruelty Dragon. And I plan on doing the deck profiles and stuff when they're released. Um, keep an eye out for those. Me and my roommate will also be uh, playtesting the decks of, in the near future. Well, maybe not the near future. Maybe when they come out, we might playtest with samples. Um, let me know what you guys want to see for more Vanguard content. I'm working on the Fortnite video, but I'll see you all later. Until next time, I've been the Silver Wolf, and peace.